Dragging down the fish into the composition and scale it down uh, a little bit. Then I'm adding an expression to the layer using uh, the letter P on the keyboard to reveal the position field. And then alternate click on the stopwatch of position to start my expression for position. Then I will uh, click on the expression language menu and inside I will find a category called interpolation which contains a number of interpolation of expression. The one that I'm looking into now is called ease and contains T and then time minimum, time maximum, value 1 and value 2. This is the one that I want to use for this example. The letter T become time and then T min become 0, time minimum, which means where the animation starts from. And time maximum has to be 10 for this specific composition because it's the duration of the composition. Although later on I will show how to keep this value dynamic depending on the duration of the composition. The value for 1 is basically the origin point of the animation. I'm going to open and close a square bracket and inside I'm going to type 0, 0, which means the top left corner according to X and Y coordinates. And for value 2, I'm going to create another array of uh, uh, square brackets, which I will uh, populate with 640 for X and 480 for Y, which means the bottom right corner of my composition. When I play the video, we will just see the fish moving from the top left corner to the bottom right corner over a span of 10 seconds according to what my expression requires. The problem starts when I decide to change the duration of the composition and I go to composition, composition settings and change the duration from 10 seconds to only 5 seconds. If I do so, in fact, the expression remains the same value for T max, which means that it would take 10 seconds to complete the animation. So at 5 seconds, we'll only reach half of the space. Now, I have to change this value, 10, to whatever is the value of the duration of the composition, but I don't want to do it uh, with an absolute value, like 5 seconds for a 5 seconds duration, or 10 seconds for a 10 seconds duration. I want this value to change according to the duration of the composition. And in order to do so, I need another layer, and I'm going to create a new layer, and the new layer that I create is a null object. To this null object, I will add a effect expression control, and I pick a slider control. Now, I want that slider control to represent the duration of the composition, no matter what the duration is. So I'm going to alternate click on the slider control. It opens an expression field in my timeline, and from uh, my expression language menu, I will pick first global, and I will choose this composition. And then I will say full stop, and after this composition full stop, I will add composition duration. So the expression will basically say this composition duration. Now the slider says automatically 5 seconds, which means that if I change again the composition duration through composition settings, and I set it for instance to 7 seconds, there you go, the slider have automatically updated and became 7. How do I integrate this slider in the previous expression that I've created? Very simple. I just have to select the number 10 that I had here and using the pick whip uh, expression uh, creator, I just drag the pick whip on the value 7 and immediately it will not replace with the number 7 but with another piece of expression that says from this composition take the layer called null 3 Look for the effect called slider control and pick the value that slider defines. So slider currently defines 7. If I change the duration one more time, it will change accordingly. But first, let's play the video with uh, these 7 value and you will see that within 7 seconds it will move from one side to the other no matter what is the duration of the composition. Only you have to remember to make sure that both uh, your null object and your visible object are actually the same duration as the composition. So if the duration is 7 seconds, you have to remember to stretch the duration of the layer all the way to the end. Now, if I change the composition duration one more time, and I set it, for instance, to 4 seconds, 0, 4, and I press Enter, and I play back the video, you will see that it will still go from one side to the other, just in a shorter period of time. And I don't have to edit the expression anymore.